It started with nothing, absolute nothingness, a point where time and space didn't exist. But then, something happened. The universe began. In a single, explosive second. A second so powerful that it became the heartbeat of everything that ever existed. Imagine a moment before moments, before light, before time. There was just silence, absolute silence. But from that silence came the loudest sound ever. Time, as we know it, didn't exist. No space, no matter, nothing. Until one point, Planck time was reached. A fraction of a second smaller than anything we can imagine. 10 to the negative 43rd power seconds after the Big Bang, a shift happened. A cosmic event that defied all laws of physics. And then, suddenly, expansion began. A singularity, infinitely hot and dense, exploded. Not in space, but into space. The universe was born in an instant. Can you imagine? One moment, there was nothing. And the next, everything. Milliseconds passed, and in that infinitesimal fragment of time, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light. The entire cosmos stretched beyond comprehension, beyond imagination. What was once a point smaller than an atom now expanded to the size of a football field in a fraction of a second. Cosmic inflation a violent and rapid expansion that lasted for just a blink of an eye. A blink that created the entire universe. But why? Why did the universe expand so violently? Some call it the inflation field. Others simply call it a mystery. But whatever it was, it set the stage for everything that followed. As the universe expanded, the temperature soared to unimaginable heights. The cosmos was a boiling soup of particles, energy and light. Quarks were born, photons flashed through space, neutrinos zipped past at the speed of light. But in this chaos, something even more dramatic was unfolding. Particles and antiparticles, opposites, fought a relentless battle. Every moment, a particle collided with its opposite annihilating itself in a burst of pure energy. But against all odds, matter began to win. For every billion particles, only one remained. That one particle, that tiny victory, is what made you, me, and everything else possible. As matter and energy collided, they began to form the basic building blocks of the universe. The fundamental forces of nature began to emerge. Gravity, the strong force, the weak force, and electromagnetism. These forces, once unified, began to separate. The strong force held the universe together at its core. The weak force helped atoms decay. Electromagnetism allowed light to travel freely. But the one force, the one that would define everything we are, was gravity. Gravity, pulling matter together forming the first stars, planets, and galaxies. Yet even with all this order, the universe was still a violent place. Chaos had only just begun to settle. As the universe continued to cool, a fog settled over everything. The universe, though vast, was still blind. Energy began to condense, forming neutral atoms for the first time, hydrogen and helium. But the light, was still trapped. Photons, the messengers of light, couldn't travel freely. They were scattered by the dense clouds of gas and particles. Imagine a universe glowing with energy, yet completely blind. This era is known as the Photon Era, an era where light was imprisoned, a mere whisper in the darkness. Then, a miracle happened. The temperature of the universe dropped to around 3,000 Kelvin, low enough for electrons and protons to combine into neutral hydrogen atoms. This moment, recombination, was the birth of light. For the first time, 
photons could travel freely. Light, which had been trapped for so long, broke free. The universe was now transparent. And with this transparency, the universe was no longer blind. This was the first light of the cosmos. The cosmic microwave background, the oldest light we can observe, began its journey across space. And this light is still with us, echoing the birth of everything. It is a faint, ancient glow, the trace of the Big Bang, double asterisk. But as the light was freed, something strange happened. The universe went dark again. No stars, no galaxies, just a vast empty void. This was the cosmic dark age, a time where the universe, though filled with matter, was without structure. Hydrogen and helium clouds drifted aimlessly, and gravity quietly pulled them together. In the silence of this dark era, a new chapter began. Small pockets of gas, under the influence of gravity, began to collapse. Stars would soon be born, galaxies would form, and life would eventually emerge. But for now, the universe waited in silence. Fast forward billions of years, stars, galaxies, planets, everything we see around us came from that first moment of light. The hydrogen and helium that form the stars were created in the first moments of the universe. The elements needed for life were forged in the hearts of these stars. You, me, everything that exists is made from the remnants of that first light. We are the children of the cosmos, a direct descendant of the Big Bang. When you look up at the night sky, remember every star, every galaxy is a trace of that initial explosion. Every photon, every particle, every atom is a story from that moment, a moment so violent and yet so beautiful. And it's still happening. The universe is still expanding, still evolving, still creating. The universe we see today, from the smallest particle to the largest galaxy, all started in that one second. But the journey is far from over. New stars will be born, new galaxies will form, and one day the universe may collapse back into itself. Or perhaps it will continue expanding forever. The only certainty is this. The story of the cosmos is still unfolding. The Big Bang was just the beginning. What happens next is the real mystery. And maybe you are part of the answer.